Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Arpita Komanapalli and I'm glad you're watching this video. In this video, I'll be talking about pH balance. pH is short form for the potential of hydrogen. pH is a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of your body fluids and tissues. It is measured on a pH scale that ranges from 0 to 14. Neutral pH is 7. The higher the pH, greater than 7, the more alkaline while the lower the pH, less than 7, the more acidic. The healthiest pH level for the human body is one that is slightly more alkaline than acidic. Optimally, we want to keep our bodies at a pH of 7.36 to 7.45. When you are stressed, when you make poor lifestyle choices, or when you are exposed to a toxic environment, your body is constantly trying to bring you back to a more alkaline state. For this reason, the body starts pulling minerals like magnesium and calcium from your bones, teeth and organs to neutralize this acid. Blood pressure, insulin levels, cholesterol, body weight and immune system function are all influenced by, changing, by changes in pH levels. When the body pH level becomes too acidic, your body is more vulnerable to different diseases like slow metabolism, obesity and inability to lose weight, high blood pressure, chronic inflammation, kidney and bladder conditions such as kidney stones, or weight gain and diabetes, premature aging, weak bones, osteoporosis, uh, bone spurs, fractures, aching muscles, joint pain, mood swings, low energy levels, slow digestion and elimination, fungal or yeast infections, Chronic fatigue are all because of low pH levels. So when the body pH falls below 6.4, the enzymes are deactivated. The minerals, vitamins and food supplements cannot be properly assimilated and the digestion cannot function in the right manner. Diseases can survive in an alkaline environment. So bacteria, virus, mold, yeast, candida, fungus and also cancer cells prosper in an acidic low pH environment. Here are 5 ways to balance your pH. Reduce intake of acidic foods. Eat a diet that's lower in acidic foods or eliminate that from your diet. These foods include processed meats, foods high in sodium, processed cereal grains, fried foods, refined grains which include white rice, white bread, pasta, caffeine and alcohol. Eat an alkaline diet and these foods which are alkaline in nature are leafy green vegetables like kale, spinach and wheat grass. Other non-starchy vegetables such as mushrooms, tomatoes, avocado, radishes, cucumber, garlic, ginger, green beans and cabbage. Consider raw foods. Uncooked fruits and vegetables are said to be a biogenic or life-giving. Cooking foods depletes the alkalizing minerals. Increase your intake of raw foods and try juicing or lightly steaming fruits and vegetables. Ideally, try to consume a good portion of your raw or only light cooked foods as these foods can help supply high levels of alkalizing minerals. Also include superfoods like barley, wheatgrass and maca root. And also include healthy fats like coconut oil, virgin olive oil and starchy plants like sweet potato, turnips and beets. The plant source of protein such as almonds, beans are good choices to, to be included in an alkaline diet. And more um, citrus fruits, dates and raisins which are also very alkalizing help prevent acidosis. Apple cider vinegar, it may taste acidic but helps restore pH balance. Drink alkaline water. According to the Water Research Center, there is a lot of variation when it comes to the pH levels between different sources of water. When water has a pH level less than 6.5, it is considered acidic, soft and corrosive, which means it may potentially leach metal ions such as iron, manganese, copper, lead and zinc from aquifers, plumbing fixtures and piping, so they contain some toxic metals and also have a sour taste. 
the ideal pH for alkaline iodized water for long term consumption is between 8.5 and 9.5. Adding pH drops, lemon or lime or baking soda to your water also boosts alkalinity. Distilled water is neutral with a pH of 7. Filtered water using reverse osmosis filter is slightly acidic with a pH level slightly lower than 7. Distilled water and filtered water may not be too alkaline but as far as pH balance is concerned they are still better option than tap water or purified bottled water that are more acidic. Maintain good levels of calcium and magnesium. These two minerals are of crucial importance for all the organs in the body. They are needed in the bones, nervous system, teeth, muscles and in the heart as well. Low pH level causes the body to get the calcium from these organs to maintain the alkaline state which leaves your body in lack of these minerals. Dark greens, leafy vegetables are excellent source of both of these minerals. Other sources include dry fruits, seafood and whole grain cereals. If you want you can start taking supplements to increase your levels. Exercise, manage stress, reduce exposure to dr drugs, toxins and chemicals. It's not just diet that affects your pH. Lack of exercise, drugs and stress can create inflammation and acidity in the body. Emotional stress releases acid forming hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline. Many drugs, chemicals, pollutants and toxins can disturb pH balance and contribute to acidity uh, such as alcohol, products containing caffeine, sedatives, NSAIDs, and aspirin overdose. So, meditation, breathing exercises, avoiding unnecessary pain medications are good ways to improve your cellular health. You can measure your pH with saliva or urine. Your urine sample of the morning will give you the best results. Compare the colors on your test strip to a chart that comes with your test strip kit. During the day, the best time to test your pH is 1 hour before a meal and 2 hours after a meal. If you test with your saliva, you want to try to stay between a pH of 6.8 and 7.2. I hope you can start checking your pH levels and incorporate some of these ways into your daily life. Here is a scripture to meditate on. And when I was burdened with worries, you comforted me and made me feel secure. Psalm 94, 19. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to share with your family and friends. I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. I will be posting more videos to help you live a healthier life. Also remember to check out my previous videos for more content. Thank you.